Ladies and gentlemen, I'm sure by now you heard that NASA will be launching three rockets into the solar eclipse on April 8th. Now, they're claiming they're doing this to learn. You know what, y'all? I'm not fooled by this. They're doing this in an attempt to disrupt what they see as their judgment. These folks are petrified. Eclipse have been going on this planet for millions of years. And now all of a sudden, when we hit the great American eclipse, oh, now three rockets must go up. And in the middle of this eclipse, come on, man, come on. There was ample time for you to learn about eclipses. It's not the first one that occurred over America. You had many opportunities to learn if you really wanted to. So on April 8th, part of the U.S., Canada, and Mexico will be thrust into darkness as the moon glides perfectly in front of the sun, marking the total solar eclipse. Millions of eager spectators aren't the only ones who are excited. NASA engineers in Virginia plan to make the most precious few minutes of the darkness uh, they're trying to make the most out of it is what they're saying. And they're going to be launching these rockets directly into the eclipse shadow. So they're trying to, oh, this is so cool. No, it isn't. No, it isn't. And, you know, we know the earth will go into darkness. So what are y'all trying to do? Launch these bright behind rockets up there and brighten it back up? You know, no, this is not a necessity. I mean, you can't trust anything that a Gentile decides to do. So the sudden transition from day to night is to cause a sharp drop in temperatures and even trick animals into engaging in nighttime behavior. But scientists understand little about how these brief moments of darkness influence scientists and understand about how the brief moments of darkness influence a bounty between Earth's upper and lower atmosphere called the ionosphere, which extends between 55 and 310 miles above the planet's surface. So, ladies and gentlemen, this is what they're making a claim about. They're saying, so by launching three rockets before, during, and after the moon's shadow turns the day into night, on the 8th of April, NASA engineers hope to collect enough data to predict such disturbances, which are known to interfere with both radio and satellite communications. Um, so, so, so they're saying that, you know, these teams on NASA will launch three rockets from NASA's Wallop Flight Facility on Wallops Island, Virginia. Over this facility, the moon will block only 81.4% of the sunlight but the team hopes to use the temporary dimming to understand how widespread the wake created by the solar eclipse is. So the same team of engineers did a similar experiment during last October's partial ring of fire solar eclipse, when a maximum of 90% of the sunlight was blocked by the moon. The results from those launches revealed that the drop in sunlight caused preturbulence capable of affecting radio and satellite communications, underscoring the need for improved capability to predict them. So they're claiming they're all excited about shooting these rockets. So remember, they're gonna shoot one rocket before another rocket during the eclipse, and the last one after the eclipse. This is what they're claiming. 
Y'all, I don't trust anything a Gentile claim they're going to do. They'll tell you one thing and do another because that is the nature of the beast. And I still say, I think they're trying to disrupt it. They're trying, everybody, look, these folks know their judgment is here. This is why they all jittery and nervous about the whole thing. And no, I don't, I don't believe everything that they're saying. And you really got to watch the wicked ways of the Gentiles because they will try to pull a fast one on all of us. So y'all going to have to tell me what you think. I don't see this as necessary. When you think about these eclipses, it is a natural process that takes place. And it's been going on forever over this earth. And I don't see this being any more earth shattering than any of the others, other than this is their time of judgment. That's the only difference between this one and the ones before. And this is the only reason why it's being done in the first place. They're afraid. This is just more fear as far as I'm concerned. So y'all, please tell me what you think about this video. And let me know if you believe what they're trying to say, or do you really believe they are in fear of what's to come? And maybe they think by launching these rockets, maybe they can see what's happening up there. You know, they are able to guide and follow these missiles and see them, you know, because, you know, they have the computers where they can track and actually see these things when they're launched. And maybe they want to see if something is really there. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.